Hey guys, CB Super. Uh, today I got the comment, out of curiosity, did you do your lens correction before your stabilization? This was in reference to my stabilized video that I did, I think a couple weeks ago. To be honest, when I did that video, I didn't even do lens correction. I said you could do lens correction, but I didn't do it in that video. There's a couple of things to know, and so I'm gonna show you real quick um, how to do lens correction in DaVinci Resolve, in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, I should say. So this is the clip, this is unedited. Um, this is right out of the GoPro. You see it's a little bit shaky, it's not too crazy. This is the GoPro 7 Hero Black. And it actually works pretty well. It has its own like in-body stabilization that works pretty well. Okay, so that is unstabilized and unlens corrected. Uh, you, you can see quite a bit of warping here, and that's just um, that's just from the very extreme wide-angle lens on that uh, on that GoPro. So the nice thing is, okay, so stabilization is right here, um, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna forego doing stabilization first. Quite honestly, I, I'm not sure how this works in DaVinci's algorithms or however it, it's uh, it's pipeline because if you come down here, you'll see stabilization is actually above lens correction. So I don't know if that means that if it no matter what it'll stabilize before it does lens correction. I'm not I'm not sure. I've kind of gone over quite a bit of uh, on the manual and hasn't really been very specific. It doesn't really say. So the nice thing is that they have lens correction right here in the inspector. So if you just want to fix your footage, all you have to do is go over down here and click on analyze and it'll analyze your footage for you. And then it'll even fix it for you. And that's pretty awesome if you have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, which I do not. This is the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So, and if you try to like do any kind of lens you know, you can actually see what the distortion is doing. So you can custom tailor it. Unfortunately, if you have the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna have to do this a little bit different. You can still do it. We're just gonna have to do this in Fusion, which is really cool that it even gives you the option to do this in Fusion. So with your playhead over the footage, just go ahead and jump over into Fusion. You'll see that I already have this kind of set up. All you gotta do is click on your media, shift space, Type in lens. The only one that's going to pop up is lens distort, which this is the default. It's, it comes in mode undistort, which is what you want. You can also do some distortion if you wanted to distort it for some reason. And then come down to the lens distortion model and leave it on 3D classic LD model. You can come to here, down here to the camera settings, but for most applications, you really don't need to do that. The only thing you really need is this distortion right here. Um, one thing I like to do is you can um, you can start like messing with the distortion to uh, to play around with it. I like to do I like to throw in a rectangle, and you can even put in a merge node here if you want to like have slightly. I like to do this just so I can kind of see what my horizon line is. But I mean, you really don't need to do this if you don't want. Uh, and then you can come over to the lens distortion, and it just makes it a little bit easier to start um, stretching out and, uh, you know, reconfiguring your footage. But look, I mean, you are warping your footage. You'll notice you're also losing some of the amount of footage that um, you originally had, right? Uh, so if I come over here and I command P this to just kind of turn it off and on, you'll see that, uh, yeah, it's fixed my footage, but it's also changed my footage quite a bit. So keep that in mind and think about it in terms like that if you were if you're going to throw the stabilization over this i would probably want it stabilizing and analyzing this more so than oh sorry we probably need to let me turn all this off here you're you're probably going to want to stabilize this instead of the original footage because i noticed i and i kind of played around with it a bunch where i tried it in different formats in different ways and i noticed that even if I went and changed it in Fusion, and even when I brought it back over into the Edit tab, I didn't have to re-stabilize the footage. So if I stabilized it earlier and then brought it in Fusion and did the lens distortion and then brought it back into Edit and then stabilized, it didn't ask me or even give me the option to re-stabilize, which just leads me to believe what was it tracking to begin with. I, I don't know. Um, so I don't know if that's a bug or if it's just considering something that I don't understand in the in the tracking data. 
So once you've actually done the lens distortion, you know our, our horizon line looks pretty good. And now we can come in here and, uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of this perspective or similarity. I, I, I'm kind of more into translation than anything. So I'm probably just going to stabilize translation. And one thing I noticed though is that when you've done your lens distortion and then you come back and you stabilize. So the stabilization takes a little bit longer, but the caching, for it to cache out, it, it takes so much longer. Um, where you might honestly be better off just rendering it out after you do your um, lens distortion and then coming in and then stabilizing it or just make sure that you have a little bit of time but if you're gonna every time you do any kind of adjustment you're gonna have to recache and depending on your computer that might take some time so sometimes it might be worth it when you do something that's completely warping your footage you may want to think about rendering that out so that took about three and a half minutes just to cash out there, but now that, now that it's done, you can see it's pretty well stabilized. You could do stabilization first, and if you have the option to do the lens correction here, I mean, that may work for you. Um, we don't have the option for using the lens correction in the edit tab, but I mean, we kind of showed it's pretty easy, right, to go here and just do the lens distort. Uh, inside the fusion tab and then jump back over and then you can add your stabilization either in the edit tab or in the color tab or you could even do it in the fusion tab if you want to um, actually track something and stabilize it so I hope that helped you guys out um, I hope you guys got something out of it if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments and uh, if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe hit that bell notification and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks